Kien Mai Cha. Kien Mai Cha is a mix between green tea and the roasted brown rice. It's called also uh, the, the tea of the poor people, the popcorn tea or the tea of uh, brown rice. So, the tea of the uh, poor people, it's because in the past uh, they were mixing the, ri uh, the rice with the green tea leaves to make it uh, tea cheaper. So there is less green tea inside, so it's, it becomes cheaper. The brown rice, tree, uh, brown rice tea, it's because it's uh, with a brown rice. Simple. And the popcorn tea, it's because uh, of, uh, where, uh, of the process. Actually, when the rice is rusted, sometimes it's explode and it makes the rice popcorn. So I would say pop rice. Of course. <laughs> the first property that I would like to tell you about the specialty is its low level uh, of the caffeine. So in the one cup like that uh, we can uh, calculate more or less 50 milligrams of the caffeine. It is less than a, a standard green tea and uh, of course less than a coffee for example in a coffee you have uh, in one cup more or less 175 milligrams of the caffeine so it's a perfect tea for the evening or if you would like to uh, uh, low down your uh, caffeine consumption the second one uh, per, uh, second <coughs> the second property that i would like to tell you about is uh, its uh, richness of the antioxidants. So, thanks to the fact that there is a green tea inside, uh, green tea is very rich of antioxidants. It's preventing the um, it's preventing the process to getting older. So, very uh, very interesting, not only for the woman but also for the men. Uh, also, it is preventing some uh, the creation of some cancers and some uh, and even slowing down the evolution of some of them. So very interesting tea, and it is also renowned. Uh, uh, it is also known uh, of its uh, benefits for the digest uh, digestive uh, process. So this, uh, what makes this tea perfect after, a, for example, after a dinner or after each meal, let's say. Uh, there is a legend linked to this tea. Uh, it's counting that uh, uh, that in Japan, because this tea is Japanese tea, uh, there was a samurai master who was preparing his green tea and one of his slaves uh, accidentally put some, uh, some rice into his cup of tea. The samurai master didn't wait long, he just cut his head. Ouch. And then what, uh, what he noticed, he tasted the tea and by his surprise it was delicious. Too bad for the slave who put this, uh, who, uh, who has died. Let's say without head we cannot leave, and uh, so it's it was called Genmaicha, what means the tea of brown rice. Let's prepare it, and how do we prepare it? It's easy. Green tea. The specification of the green tea is that we cannot put it into the boiled water because the tea will be burned; it will not be tasty. So we have to prepare the water for, uh, with the temperature between 70 80 degrees. And what I have in the, my uh, thermos here. We wait three minutes, no more. And we put it uh, afterwards into the nice cup like that. And uh, we taste it. Voila. Let's prepare some. <laughs>
So, we have the Genmaicha prepared. There is some uh, rice dust which uh, is going first of all uh, in, the, in the infusion. So, it's good to wait a minute to, uh, to, uh, to, to low down. Um, what I can say is that when you uh, put the tea into the jar, so it's out of the sealed case, you can already smell this rusted rice actually in, uh, in the air. We are outside and uh, we could smell it directly, even behind the camera. Uh, <laughs> so we waited so long, it's fine. We can see that it's a green tea, it's nice. It's a nice green tea color. The smell of rusted rice. Some notes, really uh, um, delicate notes of uh, green tea inside. I will put some into the cups. Hop. Hop. Let's serve the ladies first. Get the gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> I would. Uh, I should put the uh, like, a, like a list. Gentleman, check in. Okay. Let's let's taste it. Hmm. Hmm. First, what we can taste is um, some chestnut, nutty uh, taste that comes in. It's a, really, for me, it's the first flavor that's com coming out of it. After the second, actually, uh, the, um, the second taste would be the sweet sweetness, like a hon honey sweetness in it. And uh, and I would say, if you have uh, already tasted the rice cracker, we can taste in it also. <laughs> I hope the amateurs of uh, Japanese teas or the teas in general will not kill me about this uh, remark. What's interesting in, in it, it's that after taste, so the first taste was like a little note of the honey, uh, honey sweetness, and then it's becoming like veg a really vegetal sweetener. So uh, it's a, uh, well, so it's a vegetal sweet. That's very interesting. By the way, I don't know if already you have already tasted the tea like that, but taste it by little, little by little, and discover all the palettes of the taste that the tea can bring to you. Actually, mm, very nice tea. Personally, I like it. Actually, I know some people that don't. <laughs> so you can taste it. It's not expensive as a tea as it's uh, it was first of all said uh, the tea for the poor people but right now it's uh, renovated and depending of the green tea that is inside of this mix uh, but it's uh, recognized as a good tea uh, between all the levels of uh, of the people so the rich and the poor so and uh, well, but it's not a uh, really expensive tea for everybody. You will not feel the knife in your pocket for it. Mm. Really nice. 
I like it. So that's that's all that I would like to tell you about uh, today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like the job that I'm doing, if you like this presentation, give me just a really nice thumbs up and uh, if you like my uh, channel and uh, what I'm doing, what I'm preparing for you, uh, I invite you to uh, subscribe to our channel. It's not only my channel. If you can read the, the end uh, notes, you will, you will see who is doing this channel in general. And if you would like to hear about any kind of tea presented by me, just leave a comment what you would like to hear about. Also, about anything that you would like to say, uh, tell me, just leave a comment. It's always nice to see that somebody's interesting about the work that uh, that uh, we are doing. So I thank you right now, and until next time, I see you. I I'll see you later.